Kia ora, mabuhay ug maayong adlaw sa tanan. Welcome to the feast day video of Saint Pedro Kalungsod. Due to the coronavirus outbreak, the New Zealand government have placed restrictions to safeguard the well-being of its present residents. As a result, gatherings such as masses and novena services in the New Zealand Catholic Diocese are temporarily ceased. In response to this, St. Pedro Kalungsud New Zealand devotees have decided to make ways so that we can pray together as one community. Today is a great day to celebrate because we are still alive and we are able to celebrate together today's feast day of St. Pedro Kalungsod. If you have missed the previous Novena videos, we invite you to visit our YouTube channel or our Facebook public group, St. Pedro Kalungsod Devotees NZ. And now we will start our feast day prayer for St. Pedro Kalungsod. We would like to invite everyone to place ourselves in the holy presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the sign of the cross, deliver us from our enemies, O Lord our God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All together, Lord Jesus Christ, we kneel before you in worship, praise, and thanksgiving for the infinite love that you have shown to us sinners through your humble incarnation, bitter passion, and cruel death on the cross. By your wounds we are healed, by your death we are restored to life. Forgive us for not having returned love for you. In your suffering, you have left us an example so that we may follow in your footsteps the life of your young martyr and our brother, Saint Pedro Kalungsod, proves to us that it is possible to follow you even up to death. Be pleased with this novena that we are making in his memory. With his help, we shall strive to be living witnesses to your love. Through patient endurance in daily trials and selfless service to our neighbor, so that after having joined you in your redeeming passion here on earth, we may also come to share in your glorious resurrection at the end of time and love you eternally in heaven, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Daily Prayer All Together O Saint Pedro Kalungsud, exalted son of the Visayas, we call upon you, who now enjoy that heavenly glory which you merited for following our Lord Jesus Christ along the way of the cross. God has given you to us as a model of a true Christian, as a companion on our pilgrim way to the heavenly kingdom, and as a helper in the midst of our difficulties. Make our troubles and good intentions your own and intercede for us before the throne of mercy and grace, so that like you, we may also become fellow citizens of the saints there in heaven. Amen. In silence, let us present our intentions to Saint Pedro Kalungsud. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In behalf of the Saint Pedro Kalungsod Devotees NZ, we would like to thank you. Daghan kaayong salamat. Before we move on to the brief storytelling of Saint Pedro Kalungsod's life, may we remind you one last time. Keep on smiling.
allow yourselves to reflect on your life with St. Pedro's. May we be a saint like him, continuing on amidst the trials in life, never losing faith and remaining to be a true friend to other people. Kia ora and welcome to a short comic strip of the life of St. Pedro Calungsud, a lad from the Visayas, Philippines. This is Pedro Calungsud. He loves to read stories and books about the church and the Catholic faith. He is kind and respectful to everyone. He sees Jesus as his role model. One day, a Jesuit priest named Father Diego invited Pedro to embark on a mission to the islands of Guam. Pedro, why don't you come with us to Guam and you can help us teach the people about the church and our faith. That sounds like a great opportunity for adventure. Yes, I'll join you in this mission. Brilliant. We need someone like you to let people know about Jesus and his teachings. We'll leave first thing tomorrow. There were lots of troubles on their journey. Pedro, Father Diego, and the mission people were running out of food and water. They even went through storms and climbed steep hills, but they still continued on. At last, they reached a village in Guam where people were friendly and welcoming. The people of the village offered Pedro and Father Diego shelter and food. Welcome to our village. My name is Matapang. I am Matapang's daughter. You must be very hungry from your long travel. Come and eat with us. Thank you. We would gladly accept your invitation. God bless you. As days passed, the missionaries and the village people lived peacefully together. Pedro and Father Diego begin to teach the people about Jesus and his teachings. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The villagers started to accept Jesus in their lives that Matapang allowed his daughter to be baptized by Father Diego. One day, the daughter of Matapang fell ill and died. Everyone came to support the grieving family. Father Diego performed funeral rites and Pedro prayed for Matapang's daughter. Matapang was still grieving and a merchant named Choco took advantage of the moment. He decided to spread bad rumors about the missionaries. Choco hated the missionaries because he is losing his sales because of them. Matapang! The missionaries killed her! The water they used to baptize your daughter was poisoned! If that's true, I should kill them. I will call my brothers to kill them with me. Yes, I can get rid of those pesky missionaries. People will buy my stuff again and I will have more money. Matapa and his mate was ready to attack Father Diego, but Pedro tried to reason with Matapa. You are not a person of God. You poisoned my daughter. Prepare to die. Your daughter died because she was physically sick. We are only here to help and spread Jesus' good news. We do not kill people. We save people. But Matapang would not listen. He was blinded by his grief and fueled by his anger. Matapang and his mate began attacking Father Diego and Pedro. Pedro was ready to fight back with a knife, but Father Diego stopped him. No, Pedro. Do not use your knife. Go and run. I will not run away. I will not leave a friend behind. Alas, Matapang and his mates succeeded. Pedro never left Father Diego's side, even if it cost him his life. Centuries have passed, and people still remembered what happened. 
the Catholic Church has recognized what Pedro has done. As a true friend, Pedro never left Father Diego's side. Like Jesus, he was willing to sacrifice his life to save a friend. Today, we now call him Saint Pedro Calungsod, the patron saint of catechists, young people, and migrants. Saint Pedro was martyred on the 2nd of April, 1672, the Saturday just before Passion or Palm Sunday of that year. For this reason, his feast is celebrated every 2nd of April. He was beatified by Saint Pope John Paul II on the 5th of March 2000, and by October 21, 2012, he was inscribed by Pope Benedict XVI in the Canon of the Saints. We hope you enjoyed the short comic strip that we made for you. Maayong adlaw sa tanan o God bless. Saint Pedro Kalungsod, lay catechist and martyr, help us to become saints like you. Happy Feast Day, Saint Pedro Kalungsod. Sa pagkatakana, upusan, 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 upus